Hey there, Zombie Hunters. Jack still here. Welcome back to another episode of 7 Days to Die Alpha 18. If you're new to my channel and you like what you see, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoy this video, smack the taste out of that like button for me, why don't you? And kick the balls off that notification bell. Alrighty, folks. Let's get to it. Uh, I finished crafting oil um, uh, just so I can get my last shotgun turrets made. I have the last four made. I made up a bunch more wooden spikes. Uh, I need to go on another uh, grind for iron for my forges. That will happen in a bit here. Uh, maybe not in this episode, but it's definitely going to happen. Uh, I've got another 2,000 concrete mix going in each of these forges. Uh, I've got more cement mix coming out of each of these forges. Um, or Let me just take a look at that. Now that I say that, let's just get a little bit more puking out. We may as well. There's no time like right now to get that done. And well, the lead I have, I've held off on crafting uh, more uh, shotgun stuff. I don't need it right now. Bullet tips, I really don't need right now. Uh, I've got a bunch more shotgun shells made. Uh, yep, perfect. And I don't think there's anything crafting in that one. No, there is not. There will be in a bit here though. As for shotgun shells though, I am going to bring what I do have currently made. Uh, let's see, that's going to do one, two, that'll do, well, that will do, uh, <laughs> three of the eight, or, well, I won't quite do three of the eight, I'll just leave it as, I'll do eight, I'll put a stack in each for now, uh, but I've done some work over there, I've also got all the gunpowder, again, starting up in these, getting it going, I'm going to have lots of gunpowder coming, um, I still have work to do around the workshop here. I moved my land claim block. So it actually encompasses pretty much this whole entire area. I dropped it right there. And everything now should be underneath the coverage of my land claim block. It is. Perfect. Now this, I need to pick up. This has to happen. I gotta pick it up. Ooh, I can't pick it up. Not until I go drop the other shotgun turrets in place. And then that'll give, free up a little bit of room. So let's do that right now. I also put the blade traps in. I kind of got ahead of myself while I was thinking about recording. And then lo and behold, I didn't. I was uh, too busy focused on getting shit done. Now I know that that bar right there is going to cut off a little bit of the angle here. Uh, my hope is that I can have this shotgun trained down on this area and it'll be fine. If not, I can make adjustments as time goes. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe I change this out completely, and it just ends up being a straight bar going up even higher. I, I may end up doing that. It might make more sense actually now that I look at that. 2020 hindsight's a beautiful thing, but in the meantime, I still just want to get things in and done. So let's do that. There we go. So the shotguns are in. Um, should no I, I don't even want to try and, oh yeah we're picking it up i gotta move it i don't like where i placed it uh with i that's i kind of put it down just to kind of test what something blew up over there oh look at that oh hey hey ho what do we got over there you got was that a wolf I don't know what the hell that was. It was gray. I know that much. Put him down. <laughs> Beautiful. Easy pickings over here, I tell ya. Oh my god. Easy if I actually hit him. You know what? Let's zoom in. There we go. What's going on, you guys? How you doing over there? What are you? Where are you going? Oh, and I missed. Didn't miss that time, nurse. How you doing? Well, that took care of that. That was pretty simple. <laughs> awesome sauce. And my actually my land claim for how I've got it. I've got it set up for seventy blocks, and it actually fits partway into this military camp. So I don't know how much of this is actually going to respawn now. Probably nothing. 
and it actually goes right to the wall of the mill of the um, uh, missile silo, and then part way out on the grass here, and it works quite well. I think we're gonna have we got a good coverage. I can still leaves me more room to build and be able to pick my stuff up, which is what I really want to be able to do. Um, let me look here now that I've. options i'm gonna throw some shotgun shells in each one of these turrets for now come on now come on now there we go Alrighty, folks i'm going to uh start doing a little bit of upgrading here and i want to get this at least to reinforce concrete and then i gotta start worrying about getting the the wiring done. I got to hurry up and get that done. I want to get everything over here done as quickly as I can. So I can move on to the other bits that need to be done. I'm, I'm really, really hoping the zombies actually um, cycle into this area. Yeah, I'm looking at these. I think I'm going to pick them back up and I'm going to redo that. Because I'm thinking about those shotgun traps and how they're not going to work. So that I'm I'm gonna re readjust that. Yeah, I'm I I have to. I need to go make some more concrete blocks. Let's quickly go run and do that. Let's go pick up these these uh these blade traps real quick. Cause after I was thinking about this and looking at it, going wow, you know, and then it just dawned on me that this is so not gonna work. I want those. I want the shotgun turrets. To be able to train as much in the direction they're facing as possible. So it's like crossfire. Um, and in order to make that happen, that, that, that bar that I put along, it really obscures the view. So because of that, I really need to change how this works. So let's, let's do that. Um, should not take but a minute here. Uh, because really all I got to do is chop that one block out. I should only have to chop the one block. And then I can put the bars back in like I had already done. Uh, I moved, removed a few bars just to test this. And I look at it now and it's like, no, this don't work. No, I don't. No. Uh, okay, so we need to get... I need to get up top there. So... How about we do this? We just open it up and we'll go up top. Whoa. Easy, man. Easy. Okay, so that should be the center. Yes, it is. Okay, so I want to build off of this. Out the three. Perfect. And then I'll do the same again. This the one. DC is the one. Come on, I can just see me dropping down here. Be careful. That's more than 15 blocks, I think. I'll get hurt any, regardless. I'll be landing in fucking spikes. <laughs> I can see it. I can see me doing that. Just because, you know, I almost fell there. Holy shnikes. Come on. There we go. And one more. Whew. There we are, and come on now. Now, I'm going to grab the nail gun really quick here, and I want to dot these, all the edge up, get it all done, so that way I can do the extensions, and then put the, the pillars. I should have actually exact, oh, this one isn't three. Well, isn't that special? Oh, don't fall, man. I'm so I'm so sketchy right now. Ay, 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 I tell you, man. Let's do this up, and then we'll do the extensions. And this floor may end up extending even further out. I don't know. I'll have to wait and see about that. For now, this is a good height. 
probably more than I need, and that's okay. Uh, again, I wanted to put the I want to put a ladder in here, but I don't have all the materials with me. I'll have to do that in a minute here. I don't believe I can make ladders with the with what I have. No, so we'll have to wait here. I want to get this dotted up. Let's do this piece. We'll go and grab our poles from the other the workshop, and we'll start getting those dotted in. I think I'm going to go with the actual centered pole instead of the pillar. 50 pillar, I don't think, was the right choice. There we go. Keep all that on the roll here. So, I think... Is that the right spot? Yes, it is. Okay. So, let's start these poles all the way down. Okay. I don't know that I'm going to be able to clip that one onto there. No, not looking like it. So, let's let's finish off doing these ones first. And go three down for now. And then I think I can reach from underneath. If not, I'll just I'll use uh, bar uh, rebar frames and just walk out. Either way, I'm going to be able to do it. One way or another, can I reach from here? Not a chance. Uh, okay. So I'm going to have to drop out and do it with the rebar frames. Get this on the go. I got to chop shit out of here anyway. So that's what we're going to do. Get her done, man. Perfect. Okay. Drop it. <clears throat> now, I hadn't, I have thought, I had thought about leaving it uh, two off. But if I do that, if I leave it two off and I have something come in here and wreck all these spikes, then the blade traps become immediately ineffective. So we're not going to do that. Oh, that's beautiful. I think they're all done now. Yep. Perfect. Now I still got to do the inside. Um, we're just going to nerd in. Oh. Still got to get rid of the, uh, the wooden bars all around the outside here. Those are just, that'll happen when it happens. I'm not worried about it right now. And I may actually make a tunnel into here as opposed to um, uh, having a nerd pole and hop over shit to get in. But that's not happening right now either. So for right now, let's just get this shit in. We get those blades back out. And then I can start looking at wiring everything. Um, although I'm not sure how this is going to work for wiring. But we'll have to take a look at that. Not upgrading anything right now. We'll upgrade it all after. Come on. There we go. That's better. Take a look from up top too. I'm pretty sure it's going to work a lot better this way. I think so. I think so. Not that way. That way. Okay. Let's go upstairs. Take a little looky here. Um, the way these guns are trained, they'll at least be able to shoot around the pole a lot compared to how that other one, that with that block in the middle there, that just screwed everything up. I didn't like that. Okay, um, let's get these iron bars in place. Um, we'll just start with the ones that are going to work right off the bat. So that one. All right. Yeah, no, I think I think what the idea that I got here, I think is going to work really well. I really do. I may be wrong, though. <laughs> I know, I've been known to be wrong many times in the past. Hey, that's going to work. Nope, it didn't. Why am I falling to my death? <laughs> I've been there quite a few times. Uh, let's copy this rotation so we can actually get... Uh, I like to have the supports here. I'm not going to put one where the turrets are. Oh, really? Oh, that's no good. That is no good at all. You fell through that? Right at the corner. <gasps> we do not need that happening. Oh, no, we do not. Okay, I don't fall over that, but I fall over right at the corner. Why was that?
Okay, there it is. Okay, so I don't like that. That's bullshit. Bullshit. So do I have to put a... I might have to put a... Uh, just a bar. I'll just do wooden ones over top. Maybe... You know what? Maybe I ring this with, with bars all the way around. Now that I look at that. I do not need to be falling in here. No. No. This is not a thing, man. We can't, we can't afford that. Okay, they're not falling anymore, so that's good. And that still leaves me openings here to be able to throw the bombs down and stuff. Perfect. Okay, so again, let's do this. And that's done, that's done. Okay, and this can be done the way I was doing it before, which is straight across like that. And I want to build it out so I can come right out over top. Perfect. And that goes on to there. No, it doesn't, but it does now. I want to extend this all the way around so it covers off everything. But that is going to have to probably hold off a little bit here. Got to be careful how much I do of this. I don't want to run out of iron bars just yet. Not yet. I got I got more to work on, man. I don't have time to be running out of shit. Okay, so this one still needs a little bit of love. And then I got to go around and chop all that wood out. Damn it. But this allows me to walk right out. And I want actually, eventually, I'd like to have the whole thing covered over. So I can walk right out over top of this mess. And I want to be able to get them to come in. And there's only one way that's going to happen. And that's by me making sure that they come in. Okay, so can we make uh, hatches? I need four of them. Can I make four hatches? Two. Two for now. Go get some more scrap so we can do this properly. I got some. Hello. Two more. Perfect. And then we'll upgrade and get those all in. So that way my... Oh, I need actually four more. I need eight total. And then I can throw the hatches in here. All right, where are those hatches? Uh, let's put away the marksman rifle for a second. That doesn't open the right way. Like that. Yes. Okay, those are open. Now, do I have... I still didn't bring the forged iron to make ladders. Oh my god. How many times am I going to keep running back and forth here? Jesus Murphy. Alright, let's get in this here. Um, grab the forged iron. And ladders. And some wood. I'm just going to start with wooden ladders and upgrade them. I'll make 12, I guess. 12 is a good number. That gives me 16 ladders, and then that way I can get the rest of the piece up top there. And then I can start working on the wiring, which means I got to go and work on getting... I got to work on getting the uh, relays. There we go. That's the word I'm looking for. I need to get my relays. But I also um, wanted to wire the generator up in a different spot here. I wanted to do it on top of a small platform here. Fix this. Thank you. So that way when I climb up the ladder, I climb up and walk straight out. Perfect. I like that. Now let's uh, put a rebar frame down. Can I? Uh, okay, see, that just wants me to place right in there, and I don't want to do this. So I need to put on another one of those. Copy this rotation. Do that. Copy that rotation. Do that. Okay, and then let's go back to these. It pulls. Perfect. 
Come on now. Just do it the right way. Come on. Done. Okay, now I can put a block right here. Do I put it at that height or do I put in a plate instead? Um, mm, I think I put in a plate instead. Or better yet, actually. Haha. -ha. Yes, I sunk. I know what I'm going to use. I will use an arrow slit. And then oh so that way when I put the radi or the generator up there, I can access it just from list just like that. Let's just see here. Double check to make sure I'm not talking on my ass on that one. Perfect. That's exactly what we want to see. And now we can go wire up all those traps. Awesome. Once those are wired, then I got to start focused on getting uh, the iron bars in place. And I'm going to go chop all these wooden ones out. All the way around the perimeter and slowly build my way out. I can't do it quickly. I got I to gotta take my time with this. Uh, okay, so the wire relays I want to place where they're not going to get damaged, hopefully. So, uh, let's do the wire relays first. I was going to put behind each pillar here. Because I got to, this is, I want them all wired independently. I don't know why I measured this out here. I don't, shouldn't need to protect them at all. I think they should be all right. And then I still need a wire relay for the blade trap. Okay. Uh, do I put it in the middle here and then have it? No, I want to put it right. That's I want. I would maybe I put it up top. But if I put it up top, will it reach all the way down? It might. I might have to do a bit of. Let's just take a look at that real quick. So if I put a relay there, 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 I can always pick these back up. Kind of being silly by putting them out, I know, but I got to do it. I want to check here. So, oh, switch. <laughs> the switches. Um, let me think here. Think about this here. One there, and then put one from there to there. That I can handle. That's not going to bug me too much. And then I really want to figure out, you know what? Actually, I just think I figured out what I'm going to do. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my concrete pieces here. And let's go centered poles. And come up here. And now the center pole, if I go... Oh, I'm gonna need a little bit more of this stuff, I think. Yeah, one there. This may end up getting moved around too. I may not end up liking this, but let's do that for now. Uh, I need to make two more, but let's worry about doing this first. Um, no, oh, hang on. Make it easy on ourselves. Come on now. Put one there and put the blade on the second switch and run it around. Like these. And then I wanted to actually try the if this blade from there can be wired. Is that really wired? It sure as hell looks like it. Oh ho ho. You know what? Let's find out. It works. Perfect. 
That's what I want to see. So we can switch that off for now. And we can wire that one. And then we'll drop back down. Perfect. Yeah, I... What the hell's with that? Oh, that's because I've got uh, residual wiring. Thank you. Get rid of that. Don't see any more of that crap. Good. Come on. Why won't you go on there? Thank you. And then from there to there. I may want to change that too. I may end up running it just straight off. Uh, make a center column or something with it different. I don't know. For right now though, it works. I may want to readjust it. I may not end up liking it much. Okay. So just to double check, let's turn those on. I'm pretty confident that everything works. Looks to me like they're all working. Perfect. And then this one here, what I'm going to do to wire it properly is I'm going to wire it around that one. And then we'll, that's a starting point. And then we'll wire it straight around to everything else. Oh, this is a thing of beauty, folks. I tell you, I'm starting to, I'm starting to feel it now. I'm starting to feel the love here. I'm loving it. And this, again, is not wired exactly how I'd like it. I would much rather each um, turret not be in, in a series like this. I'd rather it be off of another, like a center point. But, again, I'm not worried about that right now. I don't think, I don't think things are going to get broken here. Because I, I really can't afford to have, but then again, I can't afford to have it break. Like if, if something happens where one of these in the series gets blown out and then none of the turrets work, or only half, I'll be pissed. Okay, let's lock the ammo. Oh, I gotta power it. Uh, turn the switch on, man. Funny. It's funny. Camera. Let's train that. Should I have it out that way or should I point it out like this? I think I'm going to point it like straight like this. This won't take much longer at all. Yeah, no, this is going to be fantastic, I tell you. I think this is going to work. I, I've, got, I've got to be hopeful and just pray that the zombies are going to path over to here. And that I'm going to be able to do what needs to be done. That's all I can do. Only hope that I can have is that this works. Everything's trained down. Let's close these up for now. i got to get a bunch of more scrap made. And... got to get the rest of the shotgun shells made. Because 150 in each one is not enough. 450 sounds like a damn fine number. Let's, uh, while we're waiting, let's go down underneath here and let's quickly dot these all up. Okay, let's go back up. Take a, just double check. Oh, what the hell? I think that was for me from dr me driving in it. Okay. We gotta, we gotta go get our spikes. So we can get the perimeter of that back up. I gotta put a ladder in over there. Let's just grab everything and see what we've got here. I've got some ladders. Okay, that I can fix the ladders then. Um I didn't bring the iron spikes. And those are one of the things I need first. Oh, I also need hatch. Need another a new iron hatch. Close that been open forever and I just keep forgetting to close it. Uh, what did I come up here for? Spikes. I have lots of iron spikes left still too. So let's get that on the go. Yeah, we'll just go do it. <clears throat> Whoa. 
What is you? Pick up our turrets. Okay. Um. Put the iron hatch in first. Of course, it was the right way. As soon as I touched it, I screwed it up. And I don't have any cobblestone with me. Oh, I don't know if I have a lot, but I think I have some. Ah, oh, yeah, I've got enough. 700, that should be plenty. This should all be in concrete now. Can't leave it. The nail gun is so much more effective. Holy shnikes. I love it. Let's just get this in concrete. And now this other area over here too, where I keep having shit hanging out underneath. I think I'm going to alter it. Uh -huh. I think I am. I gotta look at it in a second here though. I wanna finish this wall first. Because then if I finish the wall, at least I know the wall's done. I don't have to come back over for this. But this area over in here is it's just a mess. This does not work. So because that doesn't work. We're gonna make it so it does. I just what I've been finding is happening here is they constantly just sit underneath. And I get them punching on this little corner and I don't know where the hell they are. And well, it's pissing me off. To put to put it bluntly. <laughs> I don't like it. I'd rather they don't hang out here. So I'm gonna wait till this is dry and then I will come back and I'm gonna I'm gonna put in reinforced concrete. I'm gonna finish that corner off and punch those walls out. So it's all open for me. I think that's a damn fine idea. Come on. Work for me. Nice. Level 61. And two points. Not spending any of my points right now though. Because I'm not exactly sure where I'm going with things. I don't know what I want to spend my points in actually. With having my intellect on, it's like, I don't know. Do I want to spend the time on getting my pistol up? Or do I want to spend it on uh, my barter? Which I've actually been thinking barter was probably the one I should probably do. So I can get, open up that secret stash. Maybe get some better loot for my troubles. But then again, loot table is also another one that would be helpful. Potentially, because I've already been specking for it a little bit. I'm gonna have to look. Like I said, I gotta, I gotta plan it out because I want to make sure I'm spending the points on something that I really want. Something that's gonna have more than one outcome. Like if I do it just for archery, like that to me is kind of pointless. If I'm not using the bows that really at all, the only thing I'm gonna use bows for is gonna be the crossbow bolts, the exploding ones, and I don't even have that luxury right now. Um, so I don't know it's not worth it so I got to think around what is actually going to be worth my trouble here and I am not convinced I'm ready to make that decision yet this isn't so much so great up here I don't like how all these wires are in my hair again this will all morph as time goes and I get things built up top here you won't we won't see any of these wires this is just temporary that's why i'm not upgrading these poles probably should have did them in wood honestly okay so day 27 tomorrow is horde um i'll cut back in uh probably for the next little bit here we'll we'll watch we'll do uh do some work tomorrow before the horde and uh, we'll see where we get to but i am wrapping up for today folks we got a lot done i got a lot more to do too I gotta finish grinding out all that gunpowder. Um, I need more iron. I need, oh my god, I need so much more. Uh, but it's not happening right now. I got, I got other things I need to do, and no time to do it. 
So, well, I do have time to do it, just not a lot, man. Not a lot. But I'm gonna just continue on placing my, my get my three layers of spikes back out. And these ones anyway are just gonna stay wood for now. And well, I'll do as much as I can. I may even put a fourth layer. If I can go around and get it four or five deep around the workshop, I might just do that. And then create a different way into the base. Maybe this doesn't work for my entry point over here anymore. Maybe this all disappears and I just keep it that one level and find a different way in. I think that actually is probably a damn fine idea. But I'm going to wrap up for today, folks. So thank you for watching. If you're new to my channel and you like what you see, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you enjoy this video, smack the taste out of that like button for me. Why don't you? And kick the balls off that notification bell. Don't forget to chat me up in the comments, folks. I love talking with y'all. Until the next one, folks. Thanks for watching. Peace out. And happy hunting.